So for our project for this class, uh, for most people we've been working in Revit 2022 or 2023. Um, so I have one student that is working in 2024. And with that being said, uh, in 2024, topography was changed from being what we call a topo surface to be uh, topo solid. And so again, this item is actually a solid, not a, uh, a, a flat element. And so there's a few different things we need to do with that. And really this largely pertains to building pads. And so building pads um, are kind of, are, I guess for all intents and purposes, gone now. But when we treat this as a solid, we can actually cut that solid to accommodate this. So just a couple things here I'd recommend. So right now we just have a generic topo surface here. Normally what I like to do is I like to start off by increasing the thickness of this. And I'm actually gonna increase the thickness of this to be, let's say 10 meters. And let's change this material to be earth. Let's type in earth here. Uh, not a big deal, but I find when you start to have an increased slope in your topo surface, or your topo solid, it starts to cause some issues. So now uh, that we have that done, um, with this student's building, we want to cut uh, we, this building out of uh, the ground itself, and then likely we might want to cut this um, area out the back here. And so there's a few different ways of doing this. I think uh, the one way that we've used is to do a model in place. And we're going to go down to topo solids. We're going to call this uh, topo uh, cut. You can call it whatever you want. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to start by creating a series of extrusions. So I'm going to create two extrusions, one under the building and one kind of under the entry area. So let's go here um, and uh, we're going to use the pick line tool and we're going to kind of pick uh, the walls here. And um, once we have that done, we're going to uh, click the check mark. Um, and now we have a solid here. So let's go all the way down to the bottom there and let's raise this up a little bit past the floor so it's a little bit higher. And we're going to change this from a solid over here to be a void. So let's go void and click apply. And before we, if we click the check mark right here, it's going to give us an error message saying that you can't just have a void family. And so the key part of this is to actually cut this. So we're going to click cut. We're going to grab our void and we're going to cut the topography. And so now, um, we have our topography cut, which we can't really see. Let me do it again here. I'm going to do it just for this entry area. And so let's let's again create a, an extrusion. Uh, we're going to click the center line of, uh, or maybe click the inside line of this wall here. And uh, we're going to go out, uh, let's go out maybe two meters. and then back across. And um, this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more strategic with this one. Um, so let's click the check mark. And we have a void here. I wanna bring this down maybe below the floor thickness. And we're gonna bring this up just a few feet here. And so um, next thing I'm gonna do is just gonna drag it out to the edge of the wall. Make sure that's out to the edge of the wall, which it is. We're gonna go now, change this to a void again. And so this is, you'll see it definitely a lot more this time. If we go cut now, we select our void, select our topo surface, and now it's cutting that topo surface out of there. And so if we wanted to make this bigger, we can expand and make that bigger. Um, and uh, then the reason why I cut it below the floor is now we can grab that floor. We can click create similar. And I'm just going to grab a floor in this add a floor into this space here. And since it's that 300 millimeters, it will uh, go to the bottom of that cut that we just created, like so. So now we have that floor there. And you know, you could certainly adjust the topography or you could add some steps down to this. Uh, there's a few different ways to handle that. So hopefully that helps.